Child abuse is on the rise in Arizona, and that's not speculation. There are hard facts coming from the Arizona Department of Economic Security. CPS reports a 15% jump in child abuse investigations in 2012, bringing the number to nearly 40,000 per year. Valerie Cavazos joins us from the newsroom with more. Valerie? That surge combined with budget cuts explains why Child Protective Services remains overwhelmed. The average caseload for CPS workers now exceeds 180 percent of the national standard. Now this crisis is one reason an unruly looking group is using its tough image to help Pima County kids feel safe. They roar down the roads. Wearing leather vests, heavy boots with road names like lightning, pipes, halo, used for security reasons. They make a big scary show for a reason. They consider themselves keepers of the children. Their logo proudly displayed on their backs, Bikers Against Child Abuse. Outlaw joined the group after a family member abused his seven-year-old daughter. And she was scared to death. Um, they came around and just empowered her, empowered her to be a kid again. It was awesome. When a child feels threatened or scared, these intimidating guardians will ride over and stand guard outside their homes all night if they have to. Wings is a Baca mom. Two of her children were abused. My oldest child kept getting up in the middle of the night and checking to make sure the doors were locked. Even though the perpetrator was in jail, he was afraid he was going to get out and come get us. And if the children have to testify in court, the bikers shift the balance of power by escorting them in, sending a strong signal to the perpetrator. If they try to get to one of our kids, they're going to have to go through myself or one of my brothers to get to that child. Pipe says a Baca child is four times more likely to testify because their fears are gone. They are given road names too and are told they're Baca kids for life. These are our brothers, these are our sisters, and now that you're part of our family, you become our little sister, our little brother. And they know bikers take care of their own. Every Baca member is a volunteer and must undergo an extensive background check. The group tells me they work with CPS, the prosecutor's office, and various state agencies. The nonprofit has more than 160 chapters in five countries. Now for more information on Baca, go to our website, kega9.com. I'm Valerie Cavazos, Kega 9 on your side.